Hey everybody, it's Dr. Angie. Um, today we're going to talk about weight loss. So um, I have been a personal trainer since I was 18 and I have been an athlete pretty much my entire life, but I've also struggled with weight pretty much my entire life. So um, the good news is, is that that struggle has given me a lot of insight and a lot of knowledge and experience with how to lose weight, how to do it healthy, healthfully, um, and really how to find a lifestyle that works forever. Um, so let's talk about that. So when I was a personal trainer, I really struggled because I felt like my clients would come in and most of them knew how to eat right or most of them knew how to exercise. But week after week, they would come, they wouldn't see results. Maybe they would see results and then six weeks down the line, they reverted back to where they were at. And I, I couldn't figure out what the issue was. Um, and as I was going through this, I was getting my bachelor's degree in nutrition and dietetics. Um, and I started to see maybe where the issue was lying. Um, so obviously the nutrition guidelines are based off of my plate and the food pyramid and certain numbers of, um, breads and grains and certain numbers of vegetables and certain numbers and servings for fruits. Um, and it just, it's very boxy and it just puts everybody in one place. Everybody's the same. We should all have this, um, no exceptions. And uh, that doesn't work for 99% of the population. So how can you say that one person who is a single mother of four kids who has very little income and struggling just to feed her own kids, how can you ask her to have only organic fruits and vegetables and grass-fed meat and then 15 grains a day when maybe she can't afford all of that and she's barely making ends meet. That is a true story. I had that as a patient, as a client when I was a personal trainer. And then I had the flip side of somebody else who had unlimited access to fruits and vegetables um, and she was able to work out all the time. But the truth of the matter is that both of them had weight problems. Neither one of them got results on whatever they were doing. And so I couldn't figure out when I was, as a personal trainer, talking about calories in, calories out, and doing all of these, you need to have six servings of fruits and vegetables a day. And I was just following exactly what I was being told in school and everything I had learned as a personal trainer, I couldn't figure out why people were still struggling with weight. And it's very clear that whatever we're doing is not working because over 50% of our population is overweight. So whatever we're doing, it's not working. Um, then I went through medical school and I, I was struggling with my own weight and I was struggling with why am I, if I'm only eating 1500 calories a day, why am I not losing weight? I'm working out all the time, I'm teaching, I'm running, I'm doing all this stuff and I couldn't figure out why I wasn't losing weight. And it wasn't until I, I tried the ketogenic diet for the very first time, um, it was about three and a half years ago, that I suddenly felt like I was able to feel full throughout the day. So I wasn't starving all day. Um, and then I, I was sleeping really well and um, I just had like all this energy um, and I, I, I felt great. And I really, at that point, I was like, there's something to this. Something is going on. What makes this different from everything else I've ever done? And in the ketogenic, I wasn't counting calories. So I, that was like really shocking to me that um, I was able to finally not count all of my calories. It was more about the fat intake and the low carb intake and moderate protein. So um, I started diving into that and I did a lot of research on um, glucose control. And that's pretty much the basis of weight loss and weight gain. So at the end of the day, I don't, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're, you know, you don't eat any carbs and low carb this and low carbs not sustainable. And that's actually not true. So carbohydrates are not a necessity for a single human on this planet. It's, that's the truth. 
Um, your liver is amazing and it will make its own glucose when it needs to. Um, but other than that, I, people saying I need carbohydrates to exist, that's an excuse to continue eating what you want to eat, which is breads and pastas and sugar and cakes and cookies and whatever other junk that we really like because it's addicting. Um, but saying that you need it is a lie and um, it's, it's not true. People can live without carbohydrates and be just fine because your body will make it. That's why we have a liver. Um, so, and, and then at the end of the day, it's about science. So when you eat glucose or any type of sugar or carbohydrate, it spikes your blood glucose and then that spikes your insulin. So when we do that, um, you're inhibiting your ability to utilize fuel from yourself, such as fat or any stored muscle glycogen that you have. When you spike your insulin, you're not able to utilize those um, sources of energy. So um, really at the end of the day, it's about preventing insulin spikes. So you can call it what you want. You can be on the ketogenic, you can be on carnivore, you can be on a low carb, you can be on Atkins, you can be on modified Atkins, you can be on any of those. But at the end of the day, all of those work because you're preventing your blood sugar from spiking. And then I have, I have the question all the time about, well, what about I count my macros? You know, I count my macros and this and this and this, and that allows me to have carbohydrates. The truth of the matter is that the only reason that you can have carbohydrates and a, and a good amount of them on macros is because you're counting calories. And nobody can have 5,000 calories and most of them being carbohydrates unless they're a man with a ton of testosterone and they're trying to bulk. Um, and in which case maybe that's necessary, fine, you can, you can do that. Um, but the only way that you can have massive amounts of carbohydrates throughout the day and still lose weight is if you're starving yourself via low calories. So um, that's my take on it. And uh, at the end of the day, weight loss is about modifying your blood glucose and all of your other hormones. And that's what I do in my weight loss program. So I hope this helps. Have a great day.